When the Xbox One launched in 2013, there was little else that could have gone wrong for Microsoft. The Xbox One X represents a sort of soft reboot of the Xbox One for the Phil Spencer-led Xbox division. This supercharged Xbox One plays all the games you already own, only now with enhanced visuals. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel and this is my review of the Xbox One X. The One X was of course publicly known as Project Scorpio for a full year before the box was revealed and named. The Scorpio edition I have here doesn't differ in any way hardware wise but does sport a cool subtle gradient design. The One X is now the smallest Xbox ever made. Compared to the original one, it's a dramatic difference. The distinction of smallest Xbox ever is more noteworthy when considering what the One X is capable of, but more on that later. Anyone will be grateful for the physical buttons if upgrading from the original console with the annoying capacitive buttons. I'm also a big fan of the completely flat, ventless top. I still think the One S console is better looking with the white paint job, but the combination of the darker color, smooth top, and small size has the One X looking like a very sleek console. Don't be fooled by the size of the One X as it's incredibly heavy. At 8.4 pounds, it's essentially the same weight as the original Xbox. The hardware packed inside features AMD Jaguar CPU cores an AMD Polaris based GPU and is paired with a 1TB hard drive as well as a UHD Blu-ray drive. The included controller is the latest which launched alongside the One S. It has a texture on the rear grips built into the mold and Bluetooth for use with computers. Like the One S, there is no Kinect port. Microsoft also stopped manufacturing the USB adapter for the Kinect. Say what you will about the Kinect, but Microsoft's pitch with the One X was as part of the Xbox One family. While this is still technically true, I feel discontinuing hardware necessary for what is still a primary accessory for many users goes completely against Microsoft's promise. Speaking of the Xbox One family, using an Xbox One X won't be any different. Other than the boot up animation and hardware specific settings, the user interface is identical. So all Xbox One games are playable on the One X. Some might see a slight performance boost without an update. That being said, Microsoft is maintaining an enhanced list of games, which includes over 150 games that are 4K, have HDR, and or have general One X enhancements. Forza Motorsport 7 is one of the best looking games released in 2017, and that's before taking into account how it looks on the One X. The latest Forza title, running on the One X, is nothing short of stunning. Reflections in the puddles after a rainstorm frequently catch my eye before splashing through them at 100 miles per hour. Details in the environment from spectator stands, buildings, and even ferris wheels appear sharper, especially at farther distances when compared to the base Xbox One. And this is all while running at a solid 4K resolution and 60 frames per second. Another title that looks phenomenal is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Running on the Xbox One X, users can actually choose between three different visual settings. Microsoft allows developers to choose how they use the power of the One X in their games. Rise is one example of the developer giving the user options for how they want to experience the game. Playing Rise at a native 4K offers more detailed foliage, textures of a higher quality, shadows that appear sharper, and round edges and objects no longer look jagged. I'm not usually one for wanting the highest visual fidelity. I'll take the lock stable frame rates over high resolution textures any day. That being said, going back to play these AAA games in 1080p look like a muddied mess. Objects look blurry or smeared and jagged edges can be seen everywhere. Now the average person may not notice these differences, especially when one is concentrating on the action. Personally, I like to stop and take in the environment crafted by the developers. I'm addicted to taking pictures in Forza games. It's times like these where 4K takes the gaming experience to another level. 
don't worry if you haven't upgraded to a 4K display yet, the One X is capable of super sampling on a system level. If you have a game that is rendered at 4K, but the console is connected to a 1080p display, the system will combine those extra pixels to create a sharper image. Microsoft also updated the One X to support 1440p displays, as well as AMD's Variable Refresh Rate FreeSync standard. When it comes to backwards compatibility, select Xbox 360 and original Xbox games get a huge bump to their visual quality on the One X. To this day, Halo 3 remains one of the greats. It originally ran at 640p, short of the Xbox 360's maximum 720p. When played on the One X, Halo 3 renders at 1920p, a 9 times increase to resolution. Not only is everything much sharper, there's also more detail in select areas like surface textures. It still runs at 30fps, but it's much smoother than when we originally finished the fight. Some original Xbox games are also seeing improvements. Bioware's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic renders at a full 4K resolution. Graphical elements such as textures and lighting aren't magically made better, and the One X definitely can't save KOTOR's 480p cutscenes. That being said, the sharpness that comes with rendering at 4K ensures these fan-favorite titles will better stand the test of time. Microsoft chose to implement an interesting technique called the Hovis method during the manufacturing process. Each Scorpio engine processor has its own custom power profile. This means that any two Xbox One X consoles quite literally aren't the same. Yes, they will of course run games identically, however, some consoles will draw more power than others, including my own. I put two consoles through a battery of tests, pushing them to their limits, and recorded power draw as well as noise produced. I have in-depth videos covering both of these tests, so be sure to check those out. In the extreme cases, I observed one of my highest power draws playing Gears of War 4 at 4K, which got as high as 189 watts. This is 14 watts more than what Digital Foundry recorded. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus consistently draws 200 watts. Even when idling on the dashboard, my console seems to draw more power, 52 watts compared to Digital Foundry's 50 watts. A higher power draw means more heat is generated and therefore requires more cooling. The vapor chamber cooling system seems to have been designed to favor 1x consoles that require less power. My console's fan is clearly audible and regularly reaches 46 to 47 decibels while playing 1x enhanced games. The fan speed is highly variable, it's constantly changing speed and can be clearly heard. The fan is also interesting in that it can burst or spin at very high speeds for a few seconds. I've had this happen regularly in multiple games. I've recorded bursts as high as 53 decibels. In contrast to the whisper quiet, original Xbox One was a constant 43 decibels. That makes the Xbox One X 10 times louder. In comparing these values to Digital Foundry, they never reported a sound level higher than 45 dB for their multiple One X consoles. When all is said and done, Microsoft fully delivered on their promise of 4K gaming, there's no doubt about it. Games that have been updated or developed to have Xbox One X enhancements are nothing short of stunning. Games from the Xbox 360 and even the original Xbox that have received updates to take advantage of the hardware are a real treat for longtime fans of the platform. The hardware isn't perfect. It's entirely possible to get a system that draws more power, runs hotter, and is significantly louder than others. While I don't think it's bad enough to be a deal breaker, it's certainly disappointing. For the gamer that needs to live on the bleeding edge though, the drawbacks can be looked past. At $500, you're getting a gaming system that consistently performs better than the $100 cheaper PS4 Pro and is significantly cheaper than a 4K gaming PC. That's it for me, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.